All right, but um, first things first, what is C-sharp uh, actually? Um, C-sharp is a programming language, okay? And it was originally developed by Microsoft. Uh, and the original intention was to develop a framework that was good for developing Windows applications, all right? Uh, the language has evolved a lot since it was created, and there are many versions, and it belongs to what's called the .NET framework, which is um, a framework of systems and programming languages that compile to something that is a bit more lower level, which is called the common language infrastructure. But that, you don't really need to pay to to care about that. Uh, what's important about C-sharp is that it's a very popular programming language for uh, Windows applications. It has a lot of applications also on servers and backend stuff. Uh, and these days, it is evolving very rapidly to also be able to address other kinds of developments, especially non-Windows applications and command line uh, applications. Um, we are, I am choosing C Sharp to start with because C Sharp is also a very common and very popular scripting programming language for a lot of the workshops, a lot of the workflows that are involved in, um, in typical uh, CAD environments or typical creative environments. So for example, uh, you can script with C Sharp in Grasshopper, in Dynamo, you can script with C Sharp in Unity, which is a very popular video game and development framework, or with VVVV, which is a visual programming editor for interactive installations. And uh, it's a really cool, it's a really cool project. So um, what's interesting about C Sharp is that I find it a mid level programming language, which means it's not as low level as uh, other languages such as assembly, machine language or C, uh, or even C++. So it's a bit higher level than that. It is object oriented, which means that it allows you to create classes and objects and structs, which is a really, really, it's probably like the best feature and a really popular feature among modern programming languages, yet is not as high level as JavaScript or Python. So it still requires you, it's very strongly typed um, and it's very constrained in what you can do. So um, I find it a very good introductory language because it forces you to think about data types and to name things properly and to type things properly. Uh, and then it's also very easy to develop with because while you're developing it, because of the strongly typed nature of the language, things either work or don't work. And you know that before even running a program, uh, as opposed to other high level languages like Python or JavaScript, where sometimes because they're so flexible and they're so um, everything goes, sometimes it's a bit, it's much more difficult to find um, where a problem is coming from or why certain things do not work. Um, so I have chosen C Sharp again, because it integrates really well with the typical tools that I use, especially for 3D modeling environments as well. Uh, and because I believe it's a pretty decent introductory language. If you learn C Sharp, you're going to be at a mid level. So going higher level is going to be super easy to for you. And if you want to go lower level, then it's just only going to be about learning a lot of concepts that are more CS related or computer science related. So it would mean that you're probably very interested in the actual um, in, in the actual techniques that uh, are typically found in computer science. Um, where can we find information about C Sharp? Um, the main documentation is maintained by Microsoft. So you can go here to like uh, find the reference and to find um, uh, what's new for each edition and each version. Um, also, obviously, Stack Overflow. Uh, I barely ever look here at all. When I have a C Sharp question, I just type like, how do you do so and so in C Sharp? And there's always, always a, a Stack Overflow question that helps you with that. Um, but if you want to read a little bit more, there's a really good introduction here by Microsoft, which explains what the language is and where it's coming from and the architecture of the framework. All right. Also, very interestingly, something that is happening right now as I'm recording this video, uh, this is uh, the summer of 2020. Uh, these days, there has been a really strong push uh, to what's called the .NET Core framework, which is opposed to the .NET framework. .NET framework is basically for Windows applications, whereas .NET Core 
tries to be a bit more generic and tries to be uh, a scripting language that can be used in, in any platform and that includes Mac, Linux and um, many other environments. So there is this transitioning right now. Um, so I expect that if you're watching this from the very far future, .NET Framework will probably be obsolete by then and .NET Core will have probably taken over. We're not there yet as of this writing, as of this recording. So that's why I'm going to focus on these videos on the .NET Framework because that's what we will be using to develop plugins and to develop scripts that integrate with other workflows and with other softwares that we are interested in in this community of computational design. Okay. So um, let's see what do we need to install in order to uh, start writing some C-sharp code. 